New details were revealed yesterday, Al, about the Office spinoff series, same fictional crew that filmed Dunder Mifflin's Day to Day. We'll find its next subject uh -huh. in a historic and dying Midwestern newspaper oh. setting. And the publisher, who's trying to revive it with volunteer reporters. I, I'm confused. Since The Office ended 10 years ago, fans have made one thing clear. Any reboot of The Office is a bad idea. Except for the US Office, which was a reboot of the UK Office, but that's not the point. So, in January, when series creator Greg Daniels announced he was brainstorming new series ideas, fans weren't super happy. Interestingly, an Australian reboot of the series was announced recently, but that apparently wasn't the new idea that Daniels was talking about. Instead, it was a spin-off, I guess, of the Michael Scott-led series that will follow a dying historic Midwestern newspaper, staffed by volunteer reporters. This isn't the first time they've tried to bring The Office back in some capacity. They developed a spin-off in 2008 that eventually became Parks and Recreation, one about Dwight in 2012 that the network passed on, one in 2013 about Andy in the suburbs that was cancelled after Modern Family came out, ideas about following Daryl, or another Dunder Mifflin branch. Leslie David Baker even tried to make an unofficial spin-off about Stanley in 2020. But what makes this one different is that it seems to have nothing in common with the original. It's not following the same office, or another Dunder Mifflin branch, or even a single character. The only tie-in is that it's the same documentary crew. Which either means that the crew will be actual characters in this show, something that went so well the last time, or that the connection is only in style. Greg Daniels said that this new series was to The Office, what The Mandalorian was to Star Wars. But the Star Wars universe has a galaxy full of aliens and architecture and history and lore. The Office is arguably set in our real life. Dunder Mifflin is a company you're supposed to feel like you've driven by so many times without noticing. So what does The Office universe mean? Co-creator Michael Schur did work on a lot of other sitcoms, like Parks and Rec, The Good Place, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and all of these do seem to share something between them, like how the characters of Parks and Recreation use a printer made by the company that bought Dunder Mifflin. But the shows also share actors playing different characters, meaning that it's not really a shared continuity like the MCU or Star Wars, just some easter eggs. Plus, Michael Schur doesn't seem to be working on this new series, so... <sighs> The universe might be to set up some potential cameos, saying that the original characters exist in the series. But Jenna Fisher said she hadn't been approached, and Rain Wilson only found out about the show by reading the news when it broke to all of us. The announcement came out yesterday and I learned about the show, like I literally know nothing about it. So my prediction is that this new show has a similar style and is the spiritual successor to The Office for marketing purposes. But then we don't even really know what it's going to be about. That press release called out, like I mentioned earlier, that the newspaper is staffed by volunteer journalists and that the publisher is trying to save it in the digital age. The Morning Show on Apple TV Plus had a similar premise, focusing on reporters on a daily news show while commenting on the modern era and following their personal lives. And maybe that's what this new show is going for, but that doesn't really feel like The Office. Part of why The Office was so relatable was that nobody felt fulfilled or satisfied with their job. I don't want to work. I just want to bang on this mug all day. Did you ask me here for any specific reason? This gives us all this time to explore the characters and their lives. Maybe this new show will treat the actual journalists like the original treated the workers in the warehouse and focus on copywriters and editors. Or maybe it'll be more job heavy and mix the struggles of reporting with the struggles of being a human. We don't know yet how much this series is supposed to feel like The Office. Greg Daniels, who developed the original show, is working on this one with Nathan For You's Michael Common. Plus, both creators of the British show are going to executive produce, though that could be a contractual obligation if it's based on their show, however loosely. Ultimately, I'm confused, but optimistic. We don't have much information yet, but they start filming in July, so more should be coming soon. Uh, until then, I, uh... I got some paper to sell.